Yo, what is going on everybody? Need for Beans over here. In this video, I will be going over how to reduce your input lag for Fortnite and kind of walking you guys through the process of how I go about optimizing my games and, you know, reducing input lag, increasing FPS, all that good stuff. So the first thing you want to do before you even start messing with this is go to where your game is um, installed. Uh, for me, it's in Z games uh, go to Fortnite click on Fortnite Fortnite game binaries 164 Fortnite client shipping properties compatibility disable full screen optimization this will allow Fortnite to run in full screen exclusive mode which um, is just beneficial for maximizing performance and reducing input lag so you want to make sure you do that uh, Full screen optimization on Windows is kind of broken uh, for video games. So now the other thing we have here is we just loaded into a map. Uh, looking at our FPS there on the on the left is 240, and we have the input lag, which is frame time. It's really frame time is you can consider it input lag. The lower your frame time is, the less input lag you'll have. So it's sitting at about four milliseconds uh, so the goal here is to see if we can reduce it to let's say low threes so the first thing we can try to do is go alt enter that's all a lot of people do we try and kind of refresh their input lag because a lot of times um, you'll be playing you'll be playing and all of a sudden you'll just feel weird you'll feel like there's a lot of input lag so you'll see booga do that actually go alt enter and alt enter again so you can see here it did go down slightly. Now we're at about three to four milliseconds. So let's see how we can tweak it further. Um, we're also running 1600 by 900. Let's say if we do the full resolution, we're looking at 4.5, 3.7. So not better. Um, now we go to settings. And what if we turn down 3D resolution? Now obviously you can't play like this, but you can see that the input lag is not really changing. So it doesn't really affect our input lag. So we can max it, max this out. The other thing is uh, for textures, if you try setting like higher textures, sometimes it might work depending on the graphics card. So look, see now with the uh, textures on medium. Uh, let's, let's do textures on high. With textures on high, we're seeing four, five, I'm looking at the milliseconds here for the frame time. So it doesn't seem like it does much of a difference. Um, so we'll leave medium. Post-processing is lowering the setting can raise the frame rate with only minor impact on quality. What if we do epic post-processing? Now we're seeing not no difference in frame times. Okay, so this looks like none of these settings really, you know, matter too much. So I'm gonna keep it on low. I'm gonna keep it all on low. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try direct X12. So in this map, we're running about 3.7. We're never getting below three, really. So let's go ahead and try settings. Let's try direct X12. We'll have to restart it. Well, let's go ahead and restart the um, game and see if we have better frame times with direct X12. because um, I have the RTX 2070 Super. Uh, so it has ray tracing. So I'm assuming DirectX 12, just because it's newer and DirectX 12 is also newer, maybe there might be some synergy there where the game will run a little better. Now I'm not, I don't have any background progr programs running, but Let's check out DirectX 12, see if that improves our input lag. Also, we'll make sure that GeForce experience is turned off. We don't want um, to have any replays going in the background. That's just gonna slow things down. So let's see. Now, 
Now, for reference, uh, three to four millisecond frame time is about average. I play Valorant a lot, and my frame times there are very similar. It hovers around three to four milliseconds. Um, the one thing you can do to definitely reduce your frame time is to upgrade your CPU. So even though I have a 2070 Super, all these games, Fortnite, Valorant, they are built on Unreal Engine 4, which is extra taxing on your CPU. So your graphics card can pump out the, fr the frames, but the CPU is gonna struggle a little bit. So here with DirectX 12, we're seeing more stable uh, frame times of, and, and they're actually lower. I'm seeing 3.9, 3.6. Um, I see there's less variability, but it's at the same time stable. Now the other thing we can do is leave it unlimited and see if that helps it. As you can see, even at 270 FPS, we're still experiencing high frame times. So now instead of 240, what if you limit it to 200, right? Because my screen refresh rate is 185 Hertz. So 200 is more than enough. Um, we're seeing not much of a benefit. So we do want to go for the 240 like this. So in my case, it looks like DirectX 12 is going to be slightly better slightly but um, yeah that's uh, kind of like how I go about dealing with input lags so as you can see here I'm, I don't want to click my keys too much but these are we're seeing sub 3 millisecond frame times 2.8 which is actually really good so I think the trick for Fortnite is if you want minimal input lag and you have a relatively new graphics card uh, try DirectX 12 so I hope this video helped and kind of got you through the process of how I go about tweaking my uh, video games. Um, I will also link the software I'm using to record the frame times and the FPS. It's called MSI Afterburner. Um, and yeah, so hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any comments or suggestions, please let me know. I will definitely get back to you guys. Need for beans out. Peace.